All right. Uh, so welcome back to James's Minecraft journal. This episode, we've done. I usually do quite a lot of building, or well, no, sorry, not quite a lot of building. I do quite a lot of technical stuff. No, <laughs> I structured. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. I my my episodes are usually very structured, very you know. Uh, we're always. I'm always trying to do stuff, even though I don't always manage it. Uh, but this time I thought it might be cool just to um, just to chill a little bit. We're going to take our punch tubo, we're going to take our unbreaking three elytra, and we're going to head to find a temple, an ocean temple, an ocean monument, that's the proper name of it. Now I've not found one in my world, uh, and if you want to know, when I generated this world, I made sure that there was no oceans within like a thousand, two thousand blocks of zero zero, just to give me scope to build in. Although now I kind of regret it because it means I need to go miles away to get to an ocean to see if I can find one. Uh, but we're going to give it a go anyway. We're going to attempt to use the uh, the elytra, the power bow, uh, not the power bow, the punch two bow to get us there. Um, maybe I should repair the elytra in case bad things happen. Maybe. Maybe not. I'll take some. Uh, I'll brew some speed pots before I go, so we can run back quickly. Looks like we've already got speed pots, so we'll take those. We'll need a lot of food, and uh, yeah, should be should be exciting. We're going on an adventure. So yeah, this episode is just a bit of chilling, just a bit of having fun. Uh, I might try and look for rabbits as well because. I've never, f I don't think I've found one in this world before, so that is our aim. Uh, ocean Monument and Rabbits. I found this sword here and I was like, oh, that's a garbage sword, I'll just use it anyway. And then I was like, oh, hang on, I can just use books. Got tons of sharpness uh, books. That'll make our sword that wee bit better. So, uh, here we are at the top of our launch pad, or whatever, top of a hill, which I've... I, I will make into some sort of a, a launching area. Um, it's just turning night, so that's okay. We'll be up in the sky, hopefully. <laughs> um, now, we're going to be flying this way, west, towards the sun. Let's turn the sun on, because, I mean, why not? Uh, so, yeah, we'll be flying west towards the sun. Uh, and then we'll be flying north, okay? So let's let's go for it, shall shall we? Let's see if we can mask this technique a bit more. Oh, I just cannot ma ma make it. Oh, there we go. Hey, up, up and away. Okay, so we're. I I want to get a bit more altitude. Hopefully, there we go. There we go. Okay, so now we just need to get to. Oh no 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 no! I forgot that if you look, if you look down, you go down. <laughs> Let's try and get up a bit more. Oh, so how are, you, how are you enjoying this flight? This flight's good. I wonder what in-flight movies they have, and <laughs> we're losing quite a bit of altitude. Let's see if we can. I can't seem to fire. There we go. Oh, need to eat. I brought plenty of ender pearls. I bl I brought um, plenty of arrows. Oh, need to eat. Did I eat? Oh heck, I think I might be cr I might be crashing the game. Let's let's land just to resupply. Okay, yeah, I think I was lagging because I might be flying into chunks that have not been loaded. Oh, crumbs creepers. We're in uncharted territories. Um, ooh, the other flight went smoothly, like the one we did in the other direction, because that was we did that in a in a place where oh no, I killed my own helmet. That's annoying. Yeah, the other flight was in uh, an area that I'd already been, so the it, it, everything was already loaded, but not not same cannot be said for this area. And firstly, there's no high ground to, um, you know, lift off from again. I mean, I guess we do on top of a tree, but that's not really valid. 
So yeah, I've not ventured this far. We're um, we might find some bunny rabbits in this region because obviously they they appear from time to time in uh, plains biomes. So we might find one. Kind of tempted just to wait until morning, to be honest. If we get a lot of iron, I might be able to make uh, another helmet. I don't have a good bow on me for fighting, which is annoying. And my armor's tripe, as always. Let's, uh... Did we splash a speed pot? Yeah, let's splash a speed pot and run for a bit. We've got speed for seven minutes. Do 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 do. So, uh, yeah, we, we still need to go a wee bit further, if I can get to my F3 button. Oh, no, wait, let's turn, let's turn. Now we just need to go north for a bit. I'm not sure how far north. I see hills up ahead, which means we can hopefully take off again. Although, if the lag, if, if there's bad lag again, then I'll just stop and just walk it. Oh, I'm not a fan of wearing these elytra when I'm not in the air. Need to remember to put them on again though, in case I forget and like jump off a cliff. Oh, can you imagine? That'd be the worst. There's a witch. Run away. Run away. I've got speed and you suckers don't. Well, I mean the witch I guess will in a minute, but I should be long gone by then. That Egypt still up there. Okay. Glitchy mob. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm just getting pegged. That feels like a meet up in a Reddit game. Oh, are you serious? How did he make that shot? Let's take some cover. At least I got my coordinates open, so if he does. Did I kill him? No, I didn't kill him. He's dead now. Alright. Let's pick up some experience. And. Eat up and we'll try again, okay? Right, this time I'm going to double tap. There we go. Right. Up. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work because of the lag. Come on. Oh, into a tree. Oh, into a wall. Let's land here. And let's continue. Motions are usually so easy to find. And for some reason this one isn't. I guess my exact directions to them were not at all clear. It was just a case of <laughs> go east then go north. I'm not sure how far north I had to go though. It's a really weird area there. I just feel there's like very few trees, which is uh, just quite interesting. And we've got another plains biome over there. I think we're going to stop at some point and I'm going to check in midst to see if I can find the uh, find the exact chord of this blinking ocean, which I just cannot find for love of flying. Yeah, we've gone too far. <laughs> I didn't. I did not look close enough at the um, at the coordinates, and so we've got to go back to two thousand, which we're at, and minus one thousand. So, fortunately, it's way too laggy to fly. So we're gonna have to make do with uh, running. Still, we might find uh, we might find rabbits. We found horses anyway. Uh, more horses over there. Still can't see any rabbits. I've probably passed them. See, this is the thing. When I play ultra hardcore, I generally ignore rabbits, and therefore I know I'm, I know I'm not playing ultra hardcore at the minute. But I'm kind of just you know I, I'm programmed to like ignore rabbits. It's similar to like walking. You know, it's it's you know you're just programmed to get up and walk. You don't even need to think about it. For me, I'm programmed just to ignore rabbits because they don't. I know they don't get. I mean, they give leather, right? not leather. Um, rabbit hide which can lead to leather but other than that they don't really give anything useful so yeah I'll tell you what let's get a bit of uh, speed going 
There we go. I think we might try the flying again. We've got a... Uh, we've got a larger hill up here. So we shall see. See what we can do. Is this the ocean? No, it's... Wait, what's our cords? Eh, it might be. Let's... Let's go for a fly. Yeah, this is it. This is the ocean. As shown by the uh, F3 debug thing. Alright, so let's... Oh, I didn't mean to land that soon. We found so many on RSG. I think the reason I'm for that is because we explored a lot. Uh, that's nothing in there. This is just a small ocean as well, so... It, I will be surprised if it has one. I'll be completely honest. I will be surprised. Still, it's a nice area. Can't deny that. It's, it looks really nice. There's some sugar cane over there, which I must have seen. Because I think I was at the top of that hill up there. Uh, you can't use any items when you're in the boat. I guess that makes sense. Since, um, since you're rowing. There's more sugar cane there. This is, yeah, I really like this area, actually. It's really nice. Well, I'm not sure, I, I'm not even sure if I'd build here, just because of how nice it looks. There's a swamp, there's the, see, again, I'm, I'm still kind of confused by these swamps. If anyone watching this video can tell me about this change of swamps, because swamps were never this colour. Look at this. Swamps were never this colour. Like, I promise you. I'll even, like, check past videos and that to prove that swamps were never this colour. In fact, yeah, I played a UHC last night, the swamp wasn't this colour, so why is this swamp this colour? Like, was, when when did this get changed? Seriously. I quite like it, I like the change, because, I mean, I, I, I think like most people, I wasn't really a fan of the old swamps, but, or the darker swamps, but, I mean, if anyone can tell me why this swamp has changed, uh, changed colour, like grass, leaves, vines, etc., yeah, I much appreciate the knowledge, because it confuses me. Alright. Oh. We just mowed down a few lily pads. Let's collect them as trophies of our journey. I think there's just one more section where we have to check. I don't really think this ocean's going to hold it. It's a very, very small ocean. It's still an ocean. Because obviously it says so. Ah, that looks so nice. That, like, waterfall and... Ah, oh, I love this area. Let's screenshot the coordinates just to... Uh... <laughs> screenshot that as well, why not? Um... Just in case we want to come back here. I mean, like I said, I don't know why I would build here if I but if I if I would build anything. But uh, yeah, I know it's worth keeping it in mind just in case. All right. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be all that much. Let's grab our boat. I'm gonna see if I can uh, see any bunnies. Unfortunately, there's still a load of mobs coming out, which is no fun at all. We started off with like a stack of chicken. Now we've got like nothing which is brilliant one shot spider oh here we are am i glad to see this look at this right just to give you a perspective of how big this is the creeper the tall creeper is zero zero and that's on the other side of the city and at this gate as you can see we are basically 400 blocks still from zero zero so that just gives you an idea of how I will, like, the size of this thing, which is pretty, pretty cool. And here we are, back at, uh, back at the centre of the earth. I've not worked on this since a few episodes ago when I, uh, kind of started it. I, I will get down to it, though. I need to, I need to just think. I need to just think and get it. It's all in the works, if you know what I mean. Um, not sure, I can't honestly remember what we did last step. Last episode we looked at the uh, we built the station up here. So I guess I'll go and show the progress on that. I've not actually done that much but I do aim to try and make it a, uh, look a bit better. Um, I think it looks okay at the minute but obviously it can be improved. I added a map if I haven't shown this already. This map is obviously of well the main base is there and the village is up here. Now unfortunately Obviously this is just half of the base, the other half is down here, and then obviously the city's up here, but I, I'm just going to go with that, because basically it shows where we live and the station, which is over here, where the wee green guy is. 
over here we've got a map of the village and I, just to give you an idea of the forest uh, like how the forest is uh, set up basically you can see here that the um, there's trees and they're kind of sparse and then the closer you get to the village they suddenly become more clo uh, more dense it's more dense there's more trees and I guess that just gives you an idea of yeah that's, that's exactly what I would want the the village to be like and obviously we've got our iron door here and yes it's overall a good thing in, in my opinion what we've, what we've done so far we've got the wee tunnel here I might brighten up the outer area here a bit I'm, I'm not sure all right let's do a wee bit of building if not a lot what I'm trying to do here now is I'm, to, I'm trying to create a few paths that go uh, through this mazy place that allows us to harvest the flowers in order to get uh, in order to get a good you know supply of them in order to replant these uh, purple purple plants whatever they call chorus chorus plants yeah I'm very bad with names <laughs> very bad with people's names IRL and I'm very bad with Minecraft names um. I'm not sure what a good height to do it at is somewhere about here maybe if we can just get them on our bar uh, and we are no we need to do it one over so it needs to be here all right let's see how this goes I wonder how long before we get stopped oh that <laughs> spoke too soon Okay, so I've harvested all the uh, chorus flowers from the main plants. So what we're going to do now is activate the waters. And we'll harvest the plants themselves and we'll see... Right, we can't really do a fair test. Oh, I forgot to put the water in. Ha, <laughs> rip. Oh, that's so annoying. Uh, can we salvage the this? No, we can't because we don't have the right blocks on us. Well, that's annoying. We'll have to do it by hand. Uh, we can do this side though. Ah, there we go. That was very laggy. It's quite satisfying though. Gotta admit. Okay. Uh quite gutted about the fact the other side didn't work. Some got caught in the stair. We've got quite a lot of course for it actually. Um, I guess the... Oh, we need to check to see if any got caught up on the uh, those pathways. Because if they did, we might have to rethink them. There doesn't seem too many up here, so we shouldn't have to worry too much. Just one or two pieces, and we can we can live without them. Oh, okay, maybe there's a bit more. <laughs> as soon as I walk along to the end, there was a lot more. That's quite annoying. I don't think it... Yeah. We shouldn't worry too much. Um, we shouldn't worry too much about it. Um, okay, so the plan for this area is as follows. Number one, brighten it up. Uh, as far as, like polishing up this tunnel goes I'm not convinced we'll be able to do it because if we dig one block uh, this way that's where the mushroom farm is and I don't have any stone to replace it my mushroom produce is doing really well I want to build one of these farms uh, where the uh, where the witch farm is just because uh, we need mushrooms for potions and the witch farm is obviously a prime place to build it because that's where I think I'm going to build a potion thing in future so, we can't widen this tunnel anymore. We can try and make it look a little prettier. Not sure how. This is where it opens up, obviously, and we can do all sorts of things here. Got a nice walkway here. I'm going to put lights in the ceiling because that was way too dark up there. <laughs> I only just realised how dark it was when I was trying to cut them down. I was going to say, we need to eat food. Why not just eat these? Where will we end up? I think what I want to do with this area is I need some sort of way to harvest the uh, the plants automatically. I mean, obviously we'll have to ma manually harvest the chorus flowers, uh, but if we have a uh, some sort of water system, 
which I'm not, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work, a water system to harvest the uh, the flowers themselves, we can surely get get away with uh, get away with an easier easy having an easier job here than we normally do. I know that didn't make much sense, but instead of having to go around to harvesting them all manually, we can uh, just leave it to the water. Although, I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do that. Yeah, I'm just going to end it there. I uh, apologise if this episode seemed a little boring. I mean, I did do a bit of talking while I was exploring in that, and it was just more chill, and then I thought I'd come back and just do a wee bit here. Well, that's not really that much, but <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a good day. I will see you in another video.